welcome back to the channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back again for another video. And in today's video, we have my November kit lineup type situation. Um, and as per usual, I'll be going through my pre planner slash compression planner keeper with so much crafting inserts first. And then we'll go into my memory planner, which is in this guy instead of my normal creativity and ink album, just because like I'm so behind on planning that none of my November kits fit in what is in my creativity and ink album because I think I still have some stuff for the month of August in there. So hopefully we'll get to that eventually before we get into like the December parts so I can finish off the year in the cute little creativity ink album. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get on started with my memory planner. So for the week of October 31st through November the 6th, I'm using leftovers from this kit from the Crafty Banana. This is the Dia de los Muertos collection. So it's like a little scene um, with like a like another full box and just normal checklist e type situation and then i did pull in this washi from washi that i had in my collection just because usually when i use kits from the crafty banana i get like the full kit plus an extra sheet of full boxes in case i want to do like extenders or anything so i just use like the leftovers that i had from all of that for this guy and then for the week of november the 7th through the 13th i have this kit from nicole alexia designs i believe this was like super old like three four years ago um and like I just thought it was really cute the color blocking it gave me like very much so fall vibes and I didn't have another Christmas kit that I wanted to use just for one week um and then for the week of November the 14th through the 20th I have this one from Moonlight Paper Co which Claudia's shop is currently closed um but this is just like I did use this kit for two weeks this is what it looks like for the first half of the week and then this is what it looks like for the second half of the week for the week of November 21st through the 27th and again I just think it is absolutely so stunning so keeps over this um and I'm here for every single second of it i think that's it yeah that's it for okay and then on to my memory planner again i do just have everything in this one little album from jaylen paper Co. i don't have any like foil pairings for anything yet just because i'm not really sure like what i want to do if i even really want to use any foil for any of these so let's go ahead and just get on started so for the week of october the 31st through november the 6th I have this kit from Creativity and Ink, and then I do just have all the leftovers from the Crafty Banana just here in case I wanted to pull anything in. Um, and then this kit was one of the subscription kits, which did just come with like this piece this sheet of extra little deco bits and then it's a three page kit so the first page has a bunch of full boxes and a little sideboard piece the next page has some functionals some date covers and then some like little checklist and the last page is just a bunch of like giant deco e-bits and i'm very very excited to use this in my memory planner i'm gonna put the full boxes to the side like i did with my october kit lineup just so i can like take the thumbnail afterwards for this guy um but yeah that's what was, what was I going with that oh yeah so i'm really excited i kind of wanted to do like a I wanted to get the like champagne lights gold mixed metal from scroll Co, but i also like know that i definitely will not have enough to do a full on bougie spread so i'm like is it really worth it to get an entire foil bundle if i know that i'm not going to like use the entirety of the foil bundle you know what i mean um but either way it will still be really cute and i wanted to do that for like the halloween slash the other one those mostly for the other ones i don't really care about halloween like halloween is fun for like costumes and stuff but the other one is a little bit more fun to me personally if that makes any sense um and then i do have like all the washies that i'll be using so for this one um because this was a subscription did come with a little four pack of washi so the two that i'm going to be pulling in it to the bottom are going to be these two this 100 percent upside down um this one's just like a little remember me one and then this one is just like the little pattern in the background and then just a light blue five millimeter tape and then i'll pull in the other two that came with the subscription itself um just like randomly and throughout this red to throw in here there everywhere this next one for the week of November 7th through the 13th. I haven't pulled yet. Let's see if I can even pull it out. Um, but it's one that I'm very much so very excited for. This is this one. So this one, give me like two seconds. So it's this kit from Cafe with Anna. So I do have like just the freebie boxes from this one. And I'm so in love. So for those who don't know, I did do the scenes for the kit. So I did like this one. And then I did like the ancestral plane. And then the, um, like the waterfall scene and this one was like Mount Bashinga um and she paired it with like a bunch of different clip art so you have like the Black Panther here you have Okoye with like I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Okoye um just facing on the other side of the fountain um a panther Africa with like Black Panther face on it and then like Wakanda Forever sweater and then just a lot of little things on here and like the colors that Anna chose are 100% like my favorite things I'm gonna get the Black Panther 15 millimeter tape from Creativity and Ink to pull it into this guy as well and then I love the fact that like 
she brought in the movie theater experience to the kit itself so you will see like a lot of different fashion people throughout all the full boxes and everything just to kind of show the appreciation for seeing yourself in a movie and also just like going to the movie theater and all that stuff in general so there is that um, and then this page has like the square boxes and little flags and I absolutely love Anna's format um like I used it when I or I already used the Bad Bunny kit the one but I don't seen the type kit I'm gonna keep the full boxes out too for this one just because I know that I just need to take picture with the thumbnail and also just like for the summary of what I'm gonna be using for this spread um but I did use the Umbrano Sinti kit already and I can say like I'm absolutely in love with Anna's format. Um, and then I also just have like a 5mm tape and like a dark purple e-tip color from Creativity Ink to pull in as well. And then for the next week, the week of November the 14th through the 20th, um, this probably would have been easier <laughs> if I like had everything pulled out already and not still in the cellophane baggies. But that's fine. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? I have this kit from Scroll Prince Co. So this was using Darcy artwork from last year. Again, it's a kit from last year. Um, and I just absolutely love it. And I think, again, because I'm not, like, officially into, like, the December Holly Jolly season because I do have, like, a random kit just breaking it up just to be, like, a light little introduction to Holly Jolly season, if that makes any sense. And also, like, this is literally me and my personality. Like, I feel like Darcy artwork is always just, like, literally me, you know? Um, like, the artwork that she's doing for this year is, like, all pink, like, pink mess kind of a thing. And I am here for it. And I definitely need to pick it up um so i'm trying to see who i can purchase it from um but anyways onto this one this one has like a cute little tall boxy type situation and these are all the full boxes and again like i think it's like a cute little like twinkle of just like holly jolliness maybe not necessarily christmas like some of the pieces are very much so more christmasy than others um but still like just general holly jolly happy meal kind of a situation and i think that's very much so very very cute and i love all the colors again like super non traditional e type christmas colors and i'm here for every single second of it um and this is in the like older mini kit format and this is just the last page so to pair with this kit um i do have just like a snowflake like pink and blue gradient washi from creativity and ink and then just like a darker green five millimeter tape because i kind of just wanted to pull in a little bit more of that green to make it feel a little bit more holly jolly-esque but besides that it'll still be a super cute spread to use nonetheless and then for the last week the week of thanksgiving of november 21st through the 27th i do have this kit from school prince go again just because it's cute um and there are a lot of birthdays around the time of Thanksgiving, just in the month of November, for, like for me in general. Um, so I just figured instead of using Thanksgiving kit every year, we're just going to use some random birthday kit. And I think this was um, one of, I don't even know, but it was one of the custom birthday kits from Squirrel Prince Co. Um, and I absolutely love it. There is now a new version that's like more darker colors, like more like mask presenting. This is more like a femme presenting kit. Um, but I, again, like I'm just here for every single second of it. And I love all the little nods to everything. So you have um, like Minecraft, you have Mario slash, I'm going to say Luigi's Mansion, but Luigi's Mansion, what looks like an Xbox controller, a little level up, a little switch another xbox controller maybe yeah i'm gonna say they're both xbox controllers um and then just like a lot of cute little presents puppy type things and i did pick up the extra color the 15 millimeter strip this was the freebie that came with the kit itself and i picked up the fam two boxes because like literally she is me i'm her i wish it looked like that kind of thing um and it's just super stinking cute and you have like the deco bits, all of the other things to show like more nods to games in general. Like you have a little Among Us things. I'm going to say it's a PlayStation controller. Um, again, you have like a cute little switch, little toad on the <laughs> cake and a little Goomba on there too. And it's just like super fun and super cute. And like definitely like if I didn't use it for the week of Thanksgiving, I would have been saving it for my birthday week kind of a thing. So that is the kit itself. And then I think I'm going to be pairing this with... um this tape from Ashley Ann Les who's no longer open and then a five millimeter tape from Creativity and Ink just because like, there aren't any Pokemon nods in this specifically but I figured that the colors of this one matched well enough that I could just kind of tie it in and have it be a grand old time you know what I mean and I don't know where I put the there we go I lost the little cellophane baggie and you're also getting like a sneaky peek into my December lineup full like disclosure this this kit will move because I want to get that Darcy artwork from somebody I don't really know who yet but from somebody eventually <laughs> people will get it um but yeah that is everything for the lineup I I forgot to mention foil so for this one I purchased some silver not silver some hollow foil from 
no was it lavender hollow i think it was lavender hollow from happy sticker designs in like a like a gamer -y type setup this one i don't have any foil picked out for yet but i'm thinking i'll just find something pink in my collection um to pull in to this one and then the black panther kit again i have like a blue type foil model from happy sticker designs and then for this one i think i'll probably just pull in gold just to kind of have some foil here there everywhere kind of thing but I'm also debating like just not putting any foil in there at all and just having it be a really cute layering type spread I don't know so we shall see so that's everything I have for my November kit lineup let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do what I should use any of that stuff just like brief summary for November 1st not November 1st November 31st October 31st through November the oh what is that 31 1 2 3 4 5 6 through the 6 I'll be using this one from creativity and ink and then for the week of November the 7th through the 13th I'll be pulling in this one from Café Plana the Wakana kit and then for the 14th through the uh, what the 20th I'll be pulling in this one from Scroll Prince Co what is this called holiday mail from Scroll Prince Co and then for the week of the oh I forgot math um 21st through the 26th question mark 21st through the 27th, 22nd through the 27th, I don't even know. <laughs> we'll be pulling in the level of kit from Scroll Prince Co. But yeah, that's everything for my November kit lineup. Let me know again if you guys have any suggestions on foil colors. Um, this really isn't super set in stone, like these three are set in stone, but this one might move question mark, but I really don't want it to. And you know what? I think would look really cute with this. The like matte bronze rose gold foil bundle from Scroll Prince Co. So I might end up picking that one up to go with this one. I don't know. We'll see. We still have a lot of time. Some options. I'm like six weeks behind anyways. So it's going to be like, yeah, we'll still be a fun time anyway. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as per usual, let's just pause, take a bit of a breather, take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in, deep breath out. And repeat after me. I am I want to say un poco loco just because it's like what's on here but I mean you know what might as well this is my channel so we'll do whatever we want anyways um but we can just be un poco loco about ourselves just be a little bit crazy about what you love and what you want to do in life kind of thing and be like crazy about yourself crazy for yourself um and just in general do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and spark me and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys